Hey there, you made it. It's Saturday. You made it to Saturday. Saturday, October 22nd, 2022. Psalm reading, once again, is going to be Psalm 84, 1 through 7. Our Old Testament reading, we're staying in the book of Jeremiah, but we're jumping ahead to chapter 14. And then our New Testament reading is going to be centered in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 through 55. Let us listen in to our scriptures. Psalm 84. What a beautiful home, God of angel armies. I've always longed to live in a place like this. Always dreamed of a room in your house where I could sing for joy to God alive. Birds find nooks and crannies in your house. Sparrows and swallows make nests there. They lay their eggs and raise their young, singing their songs in the place where we worship. God of the angel armies, King, God, how blessed they are to live and sing there. And how blessed are those in whom you live, whose lives become roads you travel. They wind through lonesome valleys, come upon brooks, Discover cool springs and pools brimming with rain. God traveled these roads, curve up the mountain, and at the last turn, Zion, God in full view. Our Old Testament reading is in Jeremiah chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. God's message that came to Jeremiah regarding the drought. Judah weeps. Her cities mourn. The people fall to the ground, moaning, while sounds of Jerusalem, sobs rise up. Up, the rich people sent their servants for water. They went to the cisterns, but the cisterns were dry. They came back with empty buckets, wringing their hands shaking their heads. All the farm work had stopped. Not a drop of rain has fallen. The farmers, they don't know what to do. They wring their hands. They shake their heads. Even the doe abandons her fawn in the field because there is no grass. Eyes glazed over on her last legs. Nothing but skin and bones. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 through 55. And Mary said, I'm bursting with God news. I'm dancing the song of my Savior God. God took one look at me, and look what happened. I am the most fortunate woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. The God whose very name is holy, set apart from others. His mercy flows in wave after wave on those who are in awe before him. He bared his arms and showed his strength, scattered the bluffering braggarts. He knocked tyrants off their high horses pulled victims out of the mud. The starving poor sat down to a banquet. The callous rich were left out in the cold. He embraced his chosen child, Israel. He remembered and piled on the mercies. Piled them high. It's exactly what he promised, beginning with Abraham and right up to now. And here ends our readings for the day. Hope to see you in church tomorrow.